uh, at the bus station here, uh, getting ready to go to uh, Singapore. Um, everything's all packed up and ready to go. Um, it's a rainy, cloudy day. It was really bad storms last night. We had storms that went on and on and on for like five hours. Um, heavy lightning, had thunder and stuff like that. But now we're going to take the trip from uh, KL and go to Singapore. It takes about five hours in the bus. And then we'll spend one day there, hop on a plane and fly to Hong Kong. So it should be interesting. Okay, we made it to Singapore. We're riding in a taxi going to our uh, hostel. Uh, it's amazing looking at all the buildings here. And I, if you take a look right over here, you'll see a massive uh, Ferris wheel, which is, they seem to be becoming very, quite the fashion. You'll see them in, in London. Actually, there's gonna be one in New York in a few years. But lots of interesting buildings here. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. So clean. Amazing. wheels are going through a renaissance. The first Ferris wheel actually was in the World's Fair in Chicago in 1893. And here we are 120 years later and we have these massive Ferris wheels and they're all over the place. Interesting thing that Mr. Ferris who developed the wheel kind of died bankrupt. He didn't do very well at all which is kind of sad. He died shortly after the debut of his original Ferris wheel. Um, but once again, we're here in Singapore. And Turn right. It's amazing. Intersection ahead. Beautiful, beautiful city. Lush, green, beautiful buildings, and oh, so clean. Hold on, not yet. All right, uh, just got out of the shower here at our little hostel here. Perhaps I could call this the little hostel that could. <laughs> um, well, this kind of makes a New York apartment monstrous. Um, it's two beds, well, bunk beds, and uh, well, then you have wiggle room. So if you have two people in the room, you do a nice little dance because. Obviously, everybody has to kind of dance around here. That's, this is how much space you have. I can't stretch out or anything. And when you bend or do anything, you kind of crash into the wall or person or whatever. Got luggage in here. Trying to rearrange stuff on the bed here, and you can see it's taken over the whole place. It serves its purpose. We place to sleep. Uh, Three showers and one toilet for the whole area, so it's going to be a busy place. Um, but all I can tell you, it's, it's not bad. Um, but uh, it's even got a fire suppression thing there up in the ceiling just in case of fire. I'll sprinkle water all over the place. Probably also if you smoke in here, it'll do the same thing. They don't want smoking in here. That's an understanding. That's understandable. So pretty cool. Pretty easy. Pretty simple. Um, Still somewhat soggy from my shower, but uh, in Singapore, and now we're going to wander around and look at stuff and spend a few hours here because we have to hop in a plane at 6.30 in the morning, so uh, uh, time is of the essence. So that's about all. You know, I've been wondering for years what the difference is between chicken back home in New York City and chicken in Asia. I've always been told how different it is. And each year I, I go to do it, and I go to fast food places that deal in this, and, and I always end up forgetting to do it. <laughs> so I finally remembered after all these years. It took six years to do it, but uh, I found, I tried it. I tried some, you know, KFC. And KFC is fun. I've had it at home countless times. 
good I'm having it here. And there is a difference. It's less greasy, I think. I get a sense that it's a little less greasy here. Um, I think there's less salt on it, too, I'm saying. Um, I like it in America, and I like it here. Each is a little different. And of course, it's catering to a taste, but I'm so glad after so long, I finally did what I meant to do so many years ago. Chicken is not chicken everywhere. Chicken's always a little different, depending on what area you're in. Oh, oh I'm talking? Okay. Okay, <laughs> after all that, just wanted to say that I have to say something here about the Singapore. Wait a minute, there's more messages here. You're welcome. I'm here in the subway system here in Singapore and it's amazingly advanced. Um, I guess you might sit there and say remarkably engineered. Everything is under very strict control here. Everything is well organized. Everything moves. The map is pretty well laid out. It's pretty it's it's a lot simpler than other ones. I know the New York map and I remember we've made uh, films talking about the map in Germany get a little confusing. But this is pretty well laid out. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory. And also they have people sitting all around that work for the system that actually um, give you information and help you out. Uh, one other thing to mention, elevators here move very fast. Escalators do zero to 60 and, <laughs> and nothing. I mean, I've never seen escalators move so fast in my life. Uh, also, um, the trains are extremely clean, everything is well organized, and if you eat or drink in the subway system here, it's a $500 fine. 